Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to show you this photo transfer trick I learned. This hack is most definitely a game changer. I'll be demonstrating it on this laser printout. One image has color and the other is black and white. This way you can see how it turns out with either one. Once you have your image, you're going to cover it with clear packing tape. I used the scissor handle to make sure the tape fully adhered, but you can use whatever you want. Just make sure to run it over the whole image. It's simple and you can see when it's done. Next, you want to cut it to size. For a bigger image, you can slightly overlap until it's completely covered. Then follow the same steps. If you're wondering if you can do this with an inkjet printout, I tried and as you can see, it was a fail. The image didn't transfer and some of the ink was running. The black and white one slightly transferred, but I wouldn't recommend it. Again, trim your image to the final size. Now place them in some water and leave them for about five minutes or until the paper is soggy. And now for the magic. Rub the paper off until it's completely clear. You can't use inkjet printouts, but I believe you can use magazines and book pages, which would be great to create a multimedia project. Think of all the designs you could use for a background. For example, the writing and music notes. You can also use photos of your loved ones. Keep in mind that printers don't print the color white. It leaves those spots blank. And because the printer paper is white, that's what shows up. Please consider that when planning your project because you will be rubbing the paper off and it will alter the image. After you've rubbed off the paper, let them air dry. The great thing is, is that they'll still be tacky and now you can stick it to your project. How cool is that? Think of all the things you can do. Label canisters, spice jars, and so much more. The sky's the limit. I had a ton of ideas pop in my head when I learned of this. How would you use it? This was not my original idea, but I had to share it with all of you because this will come in handy for so many projects. I will leave the links to the original videos I saw down below. I hope this was helpful and that it inspired you to make something of your own. Just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. 
And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry. <laughs>